Hello everyone, welcome to the second part of the digital tattoo tutorial on finding open access images. After finding your favorite wombat image on the Google Advanced Search, you still need to properly cite this image. Clearly this image is the most adorable. You click on the image and then you'll click on the visit page to find the, the web page where the image was originally sourced from. You can scroll down after clicking the image to see that this was shared under Creative Commons Attribution 2.0. Both Wikimedia Commons and Flickr explain exact specifications of this license the image is held under. In this case, the Creative Commons Attribution 2.0 license means that you are free to share, copy, or distribute this work, as well as to remix the work, which means to change or adapt it. However, it must be under the following conditions, which means, in this case, attribution. You must attribute the work in the manner specified by the author or the licensor, but not in any way that suggests that they endorse you or the use of your work. Right underneath the Creative Commons information is the attribution information. In this green bar, you can see that the image was originally uploaded to Flickr by a user called Stygian Gloom, and then it gives you the URL. Now, if you're using this image online, it would best to directly link the image to the user's Flickr account. That way, you could narrow down exactly which Stygian Gloom took the photo. Now perhaps none of these images are exactly what you're looking for, and you'd like to open up your search for images that you can use and modify, but perhaps won't use commercially. So then you can go back to Google Advanced Search and choose Free to Share or Modify, and then you can see that you will have a much larger selection of images to choose from. Using these search criteria, you find this picture of this adorable little fellow. He was snapped by a couple's 2009 trip to Australia. When you visit their page, you can see that they have graciously shared the image under a Creative Commons license. If you wish to cite this image, you would need to include the following information. Publisher name, photo title, date uploaded and via which website, and finally, which Creative Commons license it's uploaded under. Here's an example of a properly cited Creative Commons image. Publisher name, Jeremiah Blatz. Photo title, Portrait of a Southern Hairy Nose Wombat, Carnes. Upload information, uploaded to jeremiahblatz.com. And then which Creative Commons license? In this case, it's Creative Commons license attribution, non-commercial share alike, 1.0 generic. Or, if that's quite a mouthful, you can always say CCBYNC. SA 1.0. Remember, if the image is Creative Commons, they should provide a link to the Creative Commons website, which will better explain exactly what the license is and how you can cite it. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, there's always more information on the publish section of our site, digitaltattoo.ubc.ca.